And there was a constant belief that we have to digitize the company. We started very early, uh, more than two decades ago. It was clear when I saw the first website that that is going to open a new chapter. Um, and the second belief was that we have to internationalize the company. And here, the United States, where for me the biggest and most attractive media market in the world. And when we had an opportunity to buy Business Insider, we did it. And then from that came others. Morning Brew and then Politico. Right. And it's only a beginning. But when you buy those sort of assets, Politico is a very well known, but at the same time, it's a lot of money for a digital asset. We focus very much on the intellectual charisma of the content. That's why journalists are for us the most important people in the company. If we have the right team, if we believe in that um, capacity, then we make such a move. And whenever we uh, underestimate uh, that role, then we make mistakes. So it is really very, very easy in the end. You have to focus on the best possi possible content. And another aspect, if everybody is polarizing in the media industry and journalists are taking sides, one in the camp of this party, the other in the camp of another party, then perhaps for the very few who think that you should be unpredictable, you should be unbiased, may have an opportunity. I cannot imagine that in the long run people just want to amplify their own prejudice. Let's talk Germany first if you will, the traditional products, which you want to move completely digital. Get rid of the paper. I suggested that when I became editor-in-chief in 1998 uh, to transform the paper into a 100% digital paper, the board almost fired me. When I became CEO, I said, that's my second chance, let's do it. It was in the early 2000s, and uh, now the company is 95% digital business. Do you miss the print? Come on. Uh, those of us of a certain age. Well, uh, I'm not <laughs> saying it in order to pretend to be young, but I honestly don't miss it too much. Really? No, I mean, uh, the mobile phone has changed my life. I have only one device. I have only a mobile phone. I have no laptop. I have no computer. I have written all my articles, all my uh, speeches, my books, all with my mobile phone over the last years. So that has simplified my life so much. Why would I miss paper? No, I think it is about the, the, it's about the content, not about the medium. So what are you going to do to grow the German side, which is extremely mature? It's mature, you, you've got readers who love you and hate you. Let's take the opportunities for a company like Axel Springer in the context of artificial intelligence. We have already five projects where we take advantage of the possibilities of large language models. I don't see it as a structural enemy of journalism. I see it as a potential friend. Why? Because we can come up with new products that we could have never afforded before, and we can basically delegate the boring stuff of our business, translation, technical production, fact-checking, to a certain degree, aggregation of information that is out there anyway, we can delegate that to bots, to artific artificial intelligence, and focus at the same time of the very essence of our business. And that is the news, to find out something that was not supposed to be found out, and to focus on investigative reporting, to go out and watch and describe reality. That is so much more interesting for good journalists. Provided you've got the necessary safeguards in place against disinformation, you're fine. Yes, absolutely. I worry that companies will do the first bit and skimp on the second bit. That's a fair point. Some companies may do, we don't. If you just use AI in order to save costs, yes. you make a big mistake. But many will. That would be good for those who don't. Politico, what's its role? Politico, I think, is uh, the nonpartisan, unpredictable, um, quality journalism platform for political information for policymakers and people interested in politics. I think it is a small, very focused brand and target group, but it has an incredible potential for internationalization. We do editions in California that you may have seen, mm -hmm. if that works, that has an incredible potential Europe. to be rolled out in Europe, in Paris, in London, maybe in Germany, in Berlin. It's, it's powerful in Brussels. In Brussels, it's very powerful. In two years, it became, some people are saying, the most mm. relevant medium in, in, in the EU.